Hello everybody, it's Anne from Anne's Stampin' Up. Welcome to another stamping session. I'm an independent demonstrator here in Simcoe, Ontario. And if you live in Canada and you don't have your own demonstrator, you can shop with me. Uh, you can reach me at stampsandtea at gmail.com or my demonstrator website is stampsandtea.stampinup.net. So as I say, welcome everybody. We've got a special um, stamp set today that is... Um, uh, a sneak preview from the new January to June catalogue which hasn't really been released yet. So this is the card we're going to make today and to make it we're going to use this new suite called Fitting Florets and it has um, a beautiful uh, all occasion stamp set birthday wishes thank you just remind us you're loved a special person lucky to call you friend the other stamp set in the suite is a Christmas stamp set and um, all lovely lovely sentiments again they all fit inside of the dies that come with the set um, that you have ovals these this embosses these cut out um, beautiful um, beautiful uh, ovals and what have you. This is the outside of the oval here that I've used here. So I'll show you what we're going to use and what we're going to do if you give me just a minute. The other die set, oh one thing I should say is the whole suite is 134.75 but the suite is two stamp sets, the dies, the beautiful swirled gems which are just lovely they're a nice bright gold and they they sort of have they're, they're like embossed in a swirl pattern and then you get the beautiful DSP package which is um, Christmas patterns and all occasion patterns there's a bit of Christmas all occasion it uses all current colors beautiful colors a lot of it is soft succulent in the evening evergreen uh, the blues there's a beautiful one at the back here. This one here, this one is evening evergreen and it's like a gingham. It's just gorgeous. The whole package is beautiful paper. Um, and we're going to use a little bit of gold foil cardstock as well. Now, I'm going to do this um, demonstration a little bit different today because there's so much stamping and heat embossing to be done and so much... Um, die cutting to be done so I'll, I'll, I'm going to do it a little different so basically what we've got for the card is um, <clears throat> soft succulent uh, 11 by 4 and a quarter scored at 5 and a half we've got a mat which is evening evergreen and it's 5 and a quarter by 4 We've then got a piece of DSP, which we're going to cut out, uh, sorry, gold foil, which we're going to cut out using the deckled dies. The deckled dies just have a an uneven edge all the way around. So we're going to use the deckled dies on that. Then we've got a piece of DSP from the suite, which is, um, it's actually four and seven eighths inches by three and a half. And it's four and seven eighths because when you cut the decal out, you want this to sit inside the decal so that it's nicely framed by the gold. We've got a piece of basic white five and a quarter by four for the inside. We've got a piece of five and a, uh, five by four to cut out the large oval die from the suite. We've got a piece of five by four gold to cut out um, the ridged oval from the suite and we got a piece of uh, basic white to cut out an extra oval and we have a piece that's about it's a scrap you know three and a half by one and a half to emboss the flowers and cut the flowers out now as I say I'm doing this video a little different so if you didn't get the measurements the first time stop the video rewind and and go back and you'll and you'll get them so let me just think for a second here <clears throat> we're also going to put three of the gold gems the uh, swirled adhesive back swirl gems we're going to put three of those on the card as well so let me lay this out i'm going to do some heat embossing first and i'm going to heat I'm going to do gold embossed on the flowers. Um, one of the large ovals 
the, the white oval that's going to be the inside of the card I'll put that there so you can so maybe put it here so you can see it okay so this is the card we're going to make so we need to heat emboss first of all the inside of the card which was a, a five and a quarter by four piece so we need to heat emboss on there we need to heat emboss for this oval now this oval is part of let me get the right die here is the inside of this so we have to have a piece of card large enough to cut that out so that is five and a quarter by four so we're going to heat emboss this piece too so we've got this piece for the oval this piece for the inside of the card and this piece for the flowers on the front of the card there so i've just um stamped and heat embossed these with some gold embossing powder you can sort of see it catching the light there um from our home to yours is for the inside of the card have yourself a merry little christmas for the front and the flowers are for the front now we've got to do some die cutting now <coughs> So I'm going to leave these lying here and put the dies on them just to show you which piece, which pieces are cutting out which pieces and, and I need some extra pieces as well. So this die here, the big oval die, is going to cut out, let me think, <clears throat> have yourself a merry little Christmas like that. Okay. The flowers, where are my flowers? Oops, here my flowers are this die here. Goes that way. And I am going to take tape these down using washi tape before I go to the stamp and cut machine. This one I'm going to cut for the inside of the card, like that, with one of the decal dies. Now what the other thing I'm going to do to save cardstock is this big piece of five and a quarter by four. I'm going to cut out. Oh, there it goes. Using. Wait a minute. Where's my decal dies? Oh, I'm le I'm resting on them. Okay, the decal dies. I'm going to cut out the first like this but inside of this that's just going to fit on there inside of this I'm going to cut out the third one oops the third die so that I get a frame like that and I'm left with this piece this piece in the middle is going to go on another card what else do I need to cut out? I have my flowers, I have my big oval. Oh, I need a little piece of gold cardstock. Remove that up so you can see everything I'm cutting out. I need this ridged oval here, which I'm going to just pop on there like that. It should go, yeah, it's a little tight that way, but it'll go that way nicely and it's okay. So this is what I'm going to take to the big shot all right so these are the parts we've got this piece is the piece that came from the center of the the decal from the center of there so i'm going to put that aside and use it on another card as well <coughs> this is out of here this is what we've got for making the card all the little parts let me see get rid of that okay i think i've got everything and of course here is the card we're going to make all right so we're going to quickly put this card together this is my card base and this is my first mat and i'm just going to put that down using my um snail adhesive yes i still have snail adhesive making sure I've got my card opening at the bottom I've got about an eighth of an inch all the way around there on top of that goes my gold decal cutout now it just sort of fits it's not even not quite even but it will do now I'm going to put my silicone mat down here because 
some parts of this are wide enough for the adhesive and others are not for the adhesive roller. I think down the sides it's a little narrower than, uh, than the adhesive. Making sure I've got lots of adhesive. Now, I want to be careful when I'm putting this piece on my card because I don't want to mess this up. I haven't got... Y you can't really peel this off. So I'm going to lie it down um, face down first and just eyeball what I've got. I can see that I've got a little extra room at the sides, a little more room at the sides than I have at the top. So we're going right up close to the top. I'm just holding it gently there, looking at my sides, looking at my bottom, bottom edge, there, there. Now that will hold that firmly in place. So there's the basis. Now we've got a piece of DSP and I did say this DSP was four and seven eighths by three and a half. If you cut it to five by three and a half, you're going to lose part of your decal. You see, it just fits inside the decal, top and bottom. You might even want to take an extra little shim off, and I think I do. Um, this is one of the things that you have to measure as you go, depending on, on, on your decals. On, on the decalled edges. So this as I see I'm going to take down right down to four and seven eighths and all I'm doing is taking an eighth of an inch making sure that's straight. That's what I took off that little piece right there. That's all I cut off. Let's hope that doesn't fall. So when I put it on top of my gold piece now, I've got more of a little border all the way around the outside. All right. Normally when I put paper to cardstock, DSP to cardstock, I would use liquid glue. But because I'm putting it on the gold, I'm still going to use my, um, my snail adhesive. And I'm going to get it as close to the edge as I can. missed that little edge there. Right. And I'm just going to run my thumb around the edge to make sure there's no, or my finger, to make sure there's no adhesive sticking out. And I'm sort of rolling it towards the back of the card, the, the DSP. Which way do I want this to go? I think this way. Looking up. So checking my card where I got it turning it face down first just to see I've got about an even border all the way around I must have some adhesive still here because it's stuck to that okay there and if I run my finger along there, it will take any adhesive off that was just sticking out of the edge of the DSP. Just running it along there, there's a little bit of a little bit of adhesive there. Tiny little spot that you can barely see. So that's that. Now, now we've got, let me think, this goes on the inside. This piece is going on the front like this. So this is the oval from inside of here. And I did that because this is a bigger oval, so this fits nicely around for a border. You see, just like that. And I'm going to go all the way around the outside. And I'm going to put this down carefully. It lines up nicely, top and bottom, and you have a little border at the sides. There. We'll give that a minute to dry, because a little bit of glue did come out. 
that's okay we'll set it there the glue will not stick to this mat because it's a silicone mat it just dries right on there and you peel it off so so we're giving that a minute to dry and while that's drying we'll set it aside while that's drying we've got some flowers here now I do I'm not going to color the flowers per se I'm just going to color the leaves so let me see I've got some light soft succulent here and I'm going to use these are my alcohol markers they have a pencil tip and a brush tip and I'm going to use the pencil tip and I'm just going to color in the leaves carefully so I'll do this as quickly as I can and I'll try and talk at the same time so this is just swiping a little bit of color into the larger leaves and you have to be somewhat careful but I mean you don't have to be exact but you want it to look nice at the same time now let me take a look. Uh, oh, we've got a couple more here. There. Well, that just added a little bit of colour. And again, I'm going to use the pencil point on the evening evergreen. And I'm just these these leaves are just like a little stroke. Um, they're not terribly rounded. You can just sort of get the colour in there with one, one little dab. Now I'm going to just take a minute and have a look at this and see if I've missed any. And it doesn't look as though I have. So that's all the colouring I'm going to do on there. Just to make it stand out a little bit. So now we've got this gold piece on for the front of the card and I'm going to put this on dimensionals. So I'm going to stick quite a few um, dimensionals around the outside because I want it well supported, you know, right at the tops and the bottoms and everything. Uh, oh, that's a new sheet, brand new sheet. Mm. Okay, so we're going to go right to the edge here or as close to the edge as we can four, five. Does anybody else count the backs of the, uh, the um, dimensionals when they take them up to make sure they've got them all? I do and then I still check. Okay so here's my card back and this says have yourself a merry little Christmas. It's going to go right in the center of the card there and that's quite well supported because it's got the dimensionals all the way around the outside we're going to pop these flowers just on the front like that. <coughs> now to do that I'm going to put some adhesive on the top edge at the back but I might put a dimensional here depending on how far down I put it. No I don't think I will. I think it's going to go quite nicely. So let's just put some adhesive here. right there. Let's take it off and move it over just a smidge. There. We've got this piece for the inside. just going to put that right in the center. We should have about a half an inch all the way around. And then just to finish this one off, I've got some gems. Oops, there they are. Here's my pokey tool here. Let's see, what do we want? Let's put one at the top. There. There, that's that card finished. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. 
so that's that card so we've just finished the first card <coughs> which was the evening of a green and soft succulent and now I'm going to make a quick birthday card using basically all the same pieces that we, we cut out before. We've got the, the ridged oval, we've got the flowers which I've already stamped and heat embossed in gold. I've got a piece of 5x4 basic white which I've stamped with the birthday wishes for a beautiful birthday. For the front of the card I'm going to cut the inside out which is 5 and a quarter by 4 with a decal. And I've got a card base which is 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half, and a piece of DSP from the same suite. Um, that's the, the blue paper that was in the package, and this is the back of it, this beautiful polished pink. And that's 5 and a quarter by 4. So I am going to um, go and cut these out, and I'll be right back. So I've done my cutting out. I've cut out <coughs> the flowers, which were... were um, heat embossed in gold. That's just an extra piece. Whoops. Um, the large oval, the, the ridged oval, sorry. Now I'm going to take the centre out of that and put it to one side. We're not going to use it. We'll use it another day. We just want the ridged part of this. Um, oh, the large oval. We don't want this. Mm, yeah, let's use that piece and we'll put that piece in the middle throw that over there and for the inside we've got the decalled piece that, there. that can go there so we've got this for the inside we're going to stamp on take that out of the way <coughs> right yep I think we're good now all right so let's put this card together Let me just put that out of the way all right so we haven't really got a plan for this card. We're just sort of winging it. I'll put the DSP down. And this is polished pink. Standard card base. 11 by 4 and a quarter. Scored at 5 and a half. And a piece of DSP which is 5 and a quarter by 4. This is nice paper because you can use these grid lines to make sure your paper is straight and it lines up. I think we're going to put this decal piece. This is the piece that we cut out from the centre of the decals to reduce the bulk on the on the other card. Um, if you remember, it was the piece right in the centre when we used the, fir the first die and the third die. This was the piece that came was left and came out of the centre. So I'll just put the card over there for a minute. Um, what are we going to do? We're going to put this down and that down, that down. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we've got. Am I getting any adhesive here? I think I'm going too fast on my adhesive. So we'll use these squares and we'll line this up and put it right in the centre. Down a tad. Maybe just over a little bit. So you see I've lined this up with my squares. My um, They're not really squares, they're just like little crosses on the paper. Put that down. We'll use some liquid glue. I should have an added silicone mat somewhere, which we've lost. Oh, no, there it is, hiding. So we'll put some liquid glue on there. And we'll go, like, around the fancy parts, around the edge, the inside edge and the outside edge. Okay. Can I even pick it up without making a mess? I'm not sure. Alright. Try my card opening at the bottom. Right. So then this is going to go right in the centre. Just like this. And I'm actually going to use my two-sided... My uh, tape runner to put this down. Put lots of adhesive on it. Now 
nice and straight and it should just really sit right in there Got a push this we're going to pop up on mini dimensionals I think lots of mini dimensionals have I got lots yes Oops. So you see I've got quite a few dimensionals around. I'm just going to peel the backs off. Counting as we go of course. <laughs> now this should just fit nicely right inside this patterned piece. And I think that's where I want it. Right there. So there. So we've all, now we've got some flowers that we um, the same flowers as we used on the Christmas card so I'm going to quickly colour the leaves in again we've got a uh, light soft succulent here I might f try and colour the flowers in on this just for a little extra oh, no, maybe one or two here just quickly cover them filling them in using the the guidelines from Stampin' Up! from the stamp itself. Up it here. I find when I colour I always have to sit back and have a look and see if I've missed any. I think that's good for that colour. And we'll take the light. Is this light? Yes, light evening evergreen. And we'll just do these little ones again. They're really just like a little swash. Couple here. Now, I've got some very light pale pink, pale like polished pink. Sorry, light polished pink. Um, and I've got some pale so saffron. Where are we going? Light so saffron. Sorry. I'm going to do the centers of the flowers in the light so saffron. And I'm really just, you know, following the marks on the stamp from the stamp set again. And then I'm going to gently colour the flowers in. You can add more colour if you want them darker, but you can't really very easily take colour away. No flower left uncoloured on this card. One more. There we go. There. So quick and simple colouring there. We're going to pop this on the bottom of here, across here like this. Yes. So let me just how we're going to do this. I'll put some adhesive sort of here and here. Hope I've got it lined up on that board. Yep, lucky guess. There, then we may as well have a few dots because we've got them. I don't know why I put them away. <coughs> Unless I've got two two packages open, which is quite possible on this desk. So there you've got two cards. We clean up some mess here so we can see them. Very similar. Very, very similar. Um, these, of course, are my own creations. If you wish to um, copy them, please do so. Uh, as always, if you sell your cards, uh, put the stamping up angel stamp on the back, which just says all the supplies used were stamping up supplies. And that's it for another week, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed them. I'm sorry it was a bit of a different tutorial this week, but there were just so many parts to stamp and so many parts to cut out. 
I wasn't sure I could manage it all on camera and keep the video to a, a reasonable length of time. If you have any trouble at all, don't hesitate to reach out to me, stampsandtea at gmail.com and I'll be more than happy to email you the instructions or send you the measurements, whatever you need. Thanks for watching everybody and have a great week. Bye.